Coach is Rick Stewart of All Access Coaching. I'm really excited to bring you this free video and make sure you hit the subscribe and like button down below. It gives us valuable data as far as what coaches want. And also, if, you can, if I can get to 1,000 subscribers, I'll start doing weekly YouTube clinics for free. And if you hit the like and subscribe button, you'll get notified when we upload new content. We're uploading three or four videos every week. All right, that's basically what it would look against an odd front. And this is what it would look like against an even front. Now, we tell this center, he's going to go after this backer right here because that's his path, okay? He's going to go to him right there, okay? And then we're going to get the backside back. All right, this is against an even front. And basically what we had was we had a one, okay? And it looks like a five. Now, this is that tackle's rule. If that tackle can block down on him, I don't care where this guy is. If he can block down on him, we're going to make a Chris call, okay? When I say by block down on him, I mean block down on him and block him, okay? A lot of times, a lot of them think they can block down on him, and this guy's in a one, and we don't ever touch him, okay? So I tell him, you can block down on him and block him, okay? Obviously, this guy was in a one. Our tackle must not have thought that he could get down to him, so they just made a base where the guard would block the one and the tackle would turn the five out. And that fullback's got to get up in there. This guy we had right here did a great job of being patient on this play and just reading the blocks. A lot of times you get fullbacks that want to get in there and they look in the dance and bounce and uh, want to bounce that play too quick. All right, there's a good example right here. We would have been much better off, okay, making a base call. But for some reason, this big left tackle I had must have thought that he could get there. All right, and the next thing, all right, you see he's going to run upfield. We're going to run the Chris, and then we're going to fold the wing back inside. All right, now we've got, you know, I, I guess a, a true five look right here. Um, we just get a base call, guard attacks play side linebacker. Both the guards come straight off on the inside linebackers. We turn the five technique out and, you know, we're just going to run straight ahead. We're just going to run downhill. Again, we just hat on hat. It's a very, very simple play. Um, it, it, it's a play that we like a lot because it gives the lineman a lot of, of leeway because a lot of times when you call a play, you know, you don't necessarily know where they're going to be lined up. Um, and, and that's one of our plays that, you know, 
Uh, our linemen can get us out of a call just by changing their blocking up at the line of scrimmage. Um, and so uh, uh, that, that, that play has been very, very successful to us. All right. This is with motion, just a little eye candy away from it. Go motion and then come back to it. Again, a very simple play that, you know, running downhill when you want to be aggressive, when you want to try to be physical, you know, our jag, our XB, our hammer, you know, we're going to keep the guys honest in the box, you know, um, to allow our jet sweep, buck sweep, um, rocket, all of that kind of stuff to work. Um, you know, like I said, we run it out of all kinds of different formations, um, but we pride ourselves in that in-between tackle stuff right there. Um, you know, so uh, uh, that's definitely uh, been, a, been a good thing for us. Um, we've been fortunate to have some, some pretty good, uh, some guys that could run pretty good. So, you know, forcing people to be able to stop that between the tackles and then being able to defend the perimeters has um, really, really stressed a lot of defenses in our area, fortunately for us. Um, so, uh, you know, not getting away from any type of wing T concept or anything like that, but it's just building a foundation of what you really want to do um and 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 that's a big thing that's basically it in a nutshell we're going to gap down um instead of pulling and wrapping the backside guard on on power we're basically going to kick with a lead All right. Again, pretty unorthodox. They're walking everybody up there. They're just trying to send the house. And we're just going to try to wash everything down and kick the end man on the line of scrimmage. Now, I want to watch this. This little guy right here um, playing halfback, great runner for us, but he also was a great blocker. Big key right there, he gets across, he gets square, he gets his head upfield inside. Wasn't a vicious block, but, you know, he made he made the hole for us. A lot of times, you know, they go too fast. All right, here's it out of power eye. We're just going to cave everything down, kick with the on back, and lead. Here's a good shot of the kick right here. That's tough to do right there. Uh, uh, you know, that takes a lot, of, you know, a lot of times what happens is this guy looks up and he says, oh, okay, I see the end man on the line of scrimmage. It's going to be this guy right here. And he'll generally run past that down guy because he don't see him. But this guy uh, did a great job of finding that guy down on the line of scrimmage. Here it is. And, and, and that block made the play right there. That made the play. Then again, wasn't too happy with that. We let the down tackle go right there. And we were just fortunate enough um, to make the play. Coaches, I really hope you got some great information from that YouTube video. Again, hit the subscribe and like button down below. It gives us valuable data. And if I get to 1,000 subscribers, I'll do free YouTube clinics. And you also get notified when I'm doing those YouTube clinics and when I upload new content to this channel. 
Thanks for watching, coaches.